Folks, we did it. Another big weekend in the books. We are here on a beautiful Monday in downtown Chicago. We are live coming at you from Atlas Stationers. My name is Brendan. We got a very special guest joining us today. He is back at the office momentarily. Brian is here behind the camera. Y'all know the drill. We're going to be pulling your orders. We are going to be making some announcements, talking about new products. But as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the chat. We will address it. The queue is pretty big, but we're going to try to knock out everything we've got right here. For those of you who are new, whether you're watching this on TikTok Live or the replay on YouTube, we go live, we pull your order. So if you want to join the order queue, head over to our website, atlasstationers.com, and submit an online order and leave a note at checkout asking to be pulled on TikTok. Perfect. Uh, before we jump in, here are the announcements. Um, the subscription boxes, pretty much all were sent out. So if you still want June subscription box for the ink, you have until about June 19th. Uh, any purchases after that or signups for the subscription box, you will start with July's box. We're going to send it out around July 10th, um, but the feedback has been fantastic. So thank you to everyone who has shown us support in that manner. And we're looking forward to another great box. Additionally, some big events. Coralie with Cora Crea Crafts will be here on Saturday, I want to say it's June 24th. It's not this Saturday. It's the following Saturday. She will be demonstrating how to use her products. Brian, if you could pan to your right real quickly. Um, she will go over the washi tapes, the stickers, the stamps, uh, kind of host a little one-on-one -on -one or one-on-one session. Um, if you're here, I'm sure some one-on-one -on -one sessions as well to talk about her products and whatnot. And then as we get closer to August, that means we are closer and closer to our annual sidewalk sale. I believe it's the 36th annual, which is August 17th and 18th. It's like six weeks away, folks. So put that in your calendars. Don't miss out. It's our biggest event of the year. Over 15 vendors fly out here. Over thousands of people attend. It's pretty crazy. All right, that's what I got. Brian, how you doing? I'm good. Uh, just want to say hi to everyone. Thank you for the warm welcome back. Mm -hmm. uh, you're getting some comments about uh, your shirt. Everyone's quite impressed that you dressed up for my return. So thank you for that course and uh it. you did miss maybe the biggest announcement we have which is that the Banu gold coast pens mm -hmm. uh, which we set up for pre-order last week are arriving today and mm -hmm. starting to ship today yep uh, so the fine and broad nibs if you pre-ordered those or you order today they should be on the way uh no later than tomorrow Yep, and uh, once we get them in, we'll make sure to do a post. We'll take photos and videos. That way we can uh, have uh, an updated post in regards to this big shipment and big release. So really looking forward to that. All right, and then uh, last thing I want to mention, you talked about the Hollywood subscription box. Yep. Uh, so if anyone's received theirs yet, uh, let us know, you know what you thought of it. You don't necessarily need to give any spoilers about the inks that were included. Uh, but curious to see what the thought was from everyone and if mm -hmm. uh, the value was there, if you like the direction that we went with it so that we can make sure that we're fine tuning things for uh, the coming months. The value I mean, should definitely be there. It was like twice as much as the cost of the box. Yes, it was <laughs> quite the impressive uh, box price wise, at least from our end. Mm -hmm. uh, Tiny says she got hers. Good. Uh, and uh, no spoilers, please. So, yeah, we'll make sure not to spoil anything. Maybe later this week uh, mm -hmm. we'll show what was in that box so that uh, we can hopefully hype up the, the next month to get more people subscribed. Mm -hmm. Awesome. All right, folks. Well, if there are no immediate questions, we're going to start jumping in. Um, as always, though, please feel free to throw a comment in the chat if you got any comments, questions, concerns. Um, one last thing I will leave you all with. Completely irrelevant, but go Nuggets. They're about to take it. Game four, actually game five, they're about to close out the series and win the NBA Finals. I bet on the Nuggets to win. I'm always right with sports. First up, we got Lauren M. Order number 119145. This one's going to be nice and easy. The brand new Retro 51 Honey Bear Pen. So this one's going to be sealed. So we won't be able to actually open it. Um, just because since the product is sealed, we, we don't want to take away that, that new feel of it. But and this one's going to be easy. Yeah, last week, Brendan, did you go over that Retro 51 release? Um, I did not because of the fact that I don't think we had it. Didn't it come in on like Thursday? I'm not like sure, Thursday. but this is a great time to talk about Retro 51. They uh, have some great retractable rollerball pens. And every few months, they come out with what they call a popper, which is a limited edition 
pen with a specific theme limited to usually under a thousand units and uh, they usually sell out pretty quickly uh, yep. so this is the they're a little late this year getting them out but this is this year's first limited edition retro uh, that we got I guess last week and uh, we are just about out of stock yeah, so uh, actually Mama T wrote a nice card for this honey one, this honey bear. You catch more bees with honey. Love it. And then we've actually got some new gifts, complimentary of favorite Castell. This is a really fun little gift set. It's got a pen, a pencil, a highlighter, and some sharpeners and erasers. So this is going to be what we use in the meantime. So Lauren, appreciate the love. Stay smooth. Next up, we've got Tanya. Tanya, if you were in the chat, what is poppin' happy? Monday. This is order number 119043. Got some pens and some inks and some accessories. So we'll start with the Rhodia notebook you've got on here. You got a really cool note. Please follow on TikTok so that the world may know my English. I woke up this morning and you guys are so unfair. How was I supposed to say no? You didn't even warn me. I thought we were friends. So now I'm buying this Miami Narwhal, but still have to budget for the Bay New, which will probably be released by the time you read this. And all of this is a lot, you know? I'm only human. You're correct. It is officially released. You are a fortune teller, a reader into the future. Yep, um, and we do have Tanya here in the live. Tanya, how you doing? So we can make sure we show off that Miami pen. Yeah, we definitely can. 193639, here is the Rhodia book you've ordered. I'm doing some Diamine Ink Vent inks. These are the new releases that we just got in. Uh, the Apple Teeny. And then we need the Upon a Star. This one's moving quickly. And then we're going to go grab the Midori Clips, the paper clips in the shape of the leaves. Should be this guy. Four, three, three, six, four. There we go. And then now we got the Miami pen, which we are going to head to the back to get. You guys, we've really done our best to uh, keep the back clean today. You know, Mondays are pretty hectic because we have all the weekend orders. So, what snip size do I need? Fine. So, if it's messy back there, don't say anything. But I think it's pretty good. We spent a lot of time trying to clean up. Tanya said you better get a pretty pen. A pretty one? I'll pull two and you can pick which one. I think that's a good bet. And Daniel asking, uh, patiently waiting for the affiliate activation. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that got activated a week or two ago, but when we get off the live here, I'll double check for you. And that's nice from Anna. It never looks messy back there, it just looks busy. It's always busy, excuse us, Frank. All right, so we are going to open up both of these. And I'll let you choose. Hopefully it was a fine nib. I honestly checked before we went back and then I forgot. Okay. You hold this one. I'll open this one. Ooh, this is much brighter than the picture you sent me. I haven't shown it yet. All right, here we go. Let's zoom in a little bit. You pick which one you want. This is left, this is right. See how different they are? This one has a lot more orange. Going right. right. I'm glad everyone else decided to answer, but uh, Tanya's answer is the one that matters most here. I think you said right. So it's gonna be this one. Excellent choice. This is the Narwhal Miami. Brand new to the market, dropped last week. So we got that. Wait, let me check the name, make sure. Nib is as advertised. Beautiful. Yeah, there's been some crazy releases recently, folks. It's been exciting. And uh, per Tanya's note, I agree. It's kind of hard to stay up to date with all of the releases, especially in a time like this when there's tons of summer releases. All right, yeah, so and I'll be honest. I don't remember a beginning of June with this many launches. Seems like something new comes out every every day, every other day. So we've got that new Narwhal. We've got the Esterbrook Periscope Press collab. We've got our Banu. 
And actually, Banu just announced three new pens that will be coming out in later this summer. There's quite a few things that are either here or uh, coming soon. Tanya, thank you for the love. You are all set. This one I actually got to put down there. All right. Um, next up, let's do let's do Alex L. Order number one one nine two nine six. This one is going to be for a notebook, an ink, and a pen. And it looks like it is actually a gift for one of his buddies. So first, we'll grab the Loisterm notebook, ruled port red. We don't really see too many Loisterm books on the lives, but uh, if you pan around, you'll see we've got a really nice assortment different rulings, different colors, um, different covers, sizes. Really like the Loisterm. Uh, let's pop back over here now and grab the Hayabusa. This is a really, really cool glistening ink by Colorverse. And then we're gonna match this notebook and this ink with the Narwhal pen, the original plus in purple. Yeah, and from Tori about all those launches, about June being so uh, big. Yeah, and June is the worst because of vacay, pen shows, and broken ACs. Hey, Mom, this one's right, by the way. It is? Yeah. All it right. It looks like Daniel found his affiliate code. That's been so, there for a while. So he should be all set. Nice. Hashtag dream team. And Mama T, Karina says hi. Which Karina? Karina loves the plan. Oh, okay. I was going to say my fiance's name is Karina. So if she joins the call, you know I got to do something wild. Maybe hit a nice dance move or something. Well, I but... think you're obligated to do that now that you mentioned it. So, <laughs> Karina, good to see you on the call. And nice YouTube channel. A lot of people on our platform enjoy your channel. So, All right, here's the Melakara Purple. Beautiful pen, vacuum filler. Let's make sure this is the fine. It seems like whoever is receiving this gift from Alex really likes purple. So we got that. All right, we've also got to throw in the gift. Way to rock the TikTok. And then the Faber Castell gift. So I got to be really honest, Faber Castell sent these. I'm Hoping that they're uh, for giveaways because that's what we're doing with it. I'm pretty sure they are, but we'll ask after. Um, if you're getting one, you're getting one. I don't know how long this gift will last in case they weren't for this, but shout out to Faber Castell and Rachel and their team for hooking it up. Okay. Yeah, before we get in, go into the next one too, you know, we haven't done a giveaway in a while on one of these lives. Sure. Uh, where we get a prompt and we, we throw something into YouTube. And, so I want to put that in the back of your head that we uh, start mm -hmm. thinking about that before we sign off today. Yeah, look at these funny coasters. Let me let me see the chat real quick. Let me see where we're at. All right, um, 1.4 thousand likes, 40 people on the call currently. Um, how about this? 30,000 likes will give away a Diamond Ink Bank. Ink, that's cool. Is that cool with you guys? 30,000 likes will give away a Diamine Ink Fent Ink. And also, I have the winners for two videos that I need to get caught up on. I will post that on those respective YouTube videos on the replays. But yes, 30,000 likes will give away a Diamine Ink Fent Ink. Ready, set, go. Boom. Yeah, Daniel, not the Ink Fent calendar, just a single ink not from the, the Ink Fent calendar. We don't have any of the Ink Fent calendars left. Those sell out so fast. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll start thinking about what the prompt's going to be depending on where the chat goes here. Uh, for what we post on YouTube to figure out who's going to win that that ink if you guys get up to 30,000. Yeah, we don't break 30,000, we're not giving it away. It's crazy. Brian comes back in the office giving stuff away. I did zero giveaways uh, when he was out. Yeah, you were also slacking on getting the YouTube replay up. Just uh, it's tough, need someone you know? directing you, I guess. It's tough. Yeah, when no one is uh, telling me what to do, I just sit back and play video games. And slack all day. This one is for Gavin S, by the way, 119184. Um, this is a cool box because it's got a mystery box on there. Seize the Night. Which one is that? Is that... I think that's from the previous box, the previous ink vent. 
I think I have a bottle in back that we'll grab in one second. Thank you, Tanya. Yeah, the tripod was pretty quiet. We're guess I haven't right been replaced you. yet. Sorry, my friend. The tripod. I almost enjoyed the tripod a little bit more because, you know, not bossing me around. Just joking, of course. Uh, we got the 30 ml ink. We got this freshly squeezed sunshine. And then, Brian, I think the, uh, the Diamine Ink Fent ink is back here. If I recall correctly, we posed this for Gavin originally, but then he reached out asking to be, yeah, to be pulled on TikTok. So this is our little go back bin. You know, if somebody cancels an order or if we're showing clients something and they don't take it, we have a bin back here that kind of lets us know that this stuff needs to go back on the shelf. So here's the Seize the Night bottle. All right, this is for the chat. I'm a big fan of Ferris Will Press and Diamine Inks for the mystery ink set. Also, if y'all need another person for a TikTok or YouTube poll, I'd love to see it. Uh, thank you, and I appreciate all of you guys, or all you guys do, and your business. Gavin, we appreciate the love. All right, so it looks like um, we're looking for three inks, chat. Ferris Will Press, Diamine. You guys pick one Ferris Will Press, one Diamine. I'll pick a wearing goal. That's kind of on, on par. I'm going to pick blindly. And we're starting to get some likes. We're up to about 6,500 here. So they got, King a, Lear. got a chance to hit that 30,000. So I got a, I got a green one. We need a Ferris wheel press and a diamond ink that is not green. How many likes did you say we're at? We're at 6,600 now. Oh, yeah. They'll definitely get there. So the first two Ferris wheel press, we had Atlas Iron Ore and the Twinkling Tea Party. Um, does someone uh, say you're green? Is that why? Green yeah, I think Twinkling green? Tea Party is kind of green, isn't it? Yeah. So we could go Iron Ore. Iron Ore would be cool. And then for the Diamine, I had... Let's see. Where did it go? Uh, Harmony. Tori said Silver Fox. I'm not sure. I don't even know I don't which one that is. That. Unless that's uh, one of the newer inks i wish you guys could hear the radio station we turned it to it's like indie electro it's pretty fire super upbeat super upbeat gets you in the mood to spend some money on pens and inks you know all right what other ones what other diamond got ones? yuletide yuletide's pretty cool i think that's one of the previous ones though so we have one bottle of yuletide left that's the winner. That's the winner. This is like a turquoise. This is a pretty good box. I like that. How do we feel about that? I think that's a winner. Did you say we're not doing a green because you pulled that wearing goal? Yeah. Or they didn't? Okay. That's why I'm yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. I pulled this one, so okay. no green. So I don't want to give two greens. I think this is good. My only thing is they're getting this... Seize the night from the, the ink vent from two years ago. So I'm thinking maybe we switch this one for a green ink vent. How about dusted truffle? Dusted truffle, you guys know I love. Or bliss. Bliss is pretty much similar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll do bliss. We'll same do color, bliss. Uh, label there. Yeah, Perfect. We'll, we'll do bliss. Uh, Anna said should have ordered it myself. So should have ordered that's, what? Uh, the Yuletide, I'm guessing. So Yuletide is back. Oh, available. there's one Yuletide left. And, you know, I don't know if we'll be getting more since the new ink vents came out. So this is a cool box. Gavin, let's get you a card. Way to rock the TikTok. And we'll get you one of these gifts by Favorite Castell. All right. Let's see. What else we got? That one's kind of a big one. That one's got a sub box on it. All right, we're gonna do Trista S, order number 119127. We need to go find a Lamy nib unit, a Ferris wheel press ink, and a Twisby Eco. Let's go back to where we were at. We probably spend the majority of our videos like literally right here pulling inks. Yeah, so. I remember one of the comments on um, the uh, last videos that we did before uh, I took off for a little bit was to start showcasing pens more and the other sure. items that we have here. Sure. And you're starting to get some uh, cool shades here. Shades inside. Thank you, Tori. Tori, what's popping? 
So let's make sure though we uh, really showcase some of these pens. And uh, I know there were some new releases that came in towards the end of the last week. If we could make sure we grab those if we yeah, you head know, out I, to the back. I, I have a better time. idea. I have a better idea. Okay. Since we're get, since we're gonna basically get the queue down to zero, I can't imagine we'll have too many orders by Wednesday. Why don't we make Wednesday a specialized video of showing pens? That works. I think that'll be better. We'll do like a pen special. But I do think that uh, you're underselling our live group saying that there's not gonna be orders in the queue, so. Well, maybe I'm trying to hit some reverse psychology, you know? <laughs> Challenge has been made and presented. Make the queue long enough to where we don't show pens. <laughs> there we go. Unless you wanna see pens. Um, this is the black broad nib um, that will go on most of the Lamy pens. Um, now we need to get the Twisby Glow Purple, and I'll have you hover and show the current Twisby selection. The Glow Purple, actually, we don't have in here, but uh, for those of you who want to see the pens, our, our Narwhal selection is completely stocked. Our Twisby selection is completely stocked. Perfect. All right. Yeah, I would say that uh, just because you're right, we don't really show as much. We, we show what people order, right? And it seems like you guys like to see um, other items, which is, you know, very cool too. But um, my point being is when we release something or if you guys see people ordering like a specific ink, it seems like that influences you guys to order the same type of stuff. So that's kind of why you see very similar items being pulled because of just the TikTok community in general, um, all kind of ganging up on the same items here. We need glow purple with a medium nib. Yeah, and we've got a winner. couple of people that just joined. We've got Daniel, the best one, back. Daniel, what's popping? And hey, Atlas guy. What's up, non-Atlas guy? <laughs> Tori asking if, uh, do we know if the Ferris Wheel Press Estabrook collab, if they're gonna release that Ferris Wheel Press ink separately? No, I don't believe so. I think it's only going to be available with the pen set. Correct. And uh, I think I saw a comment earlier asking when the fines and stubs are going to be released. That's a great question. We know that they're coming. Krista, thank you so much. We've much been love. asking uh, for an update pretty much every day. So hopefully we'll have some good news soon on when those other two nib sizes in that Ferris Wheel Press Estabrook collab will launch. Wait, wait, wait. Did Trista leave a note on here? Let me read Trista's note. I almost forgot. Uh, love you guys' content. Feel free to pull on TikTok. Much love from Texas. All right, perfect. Didn't want to miss that note, Trista. You take care of yourself. Thanks for the love. Um, this one's for Amy M, order number 119210. I would love to see this pulled on your live videos. I recently got TikTok just so I could watch the Atlas Lives. I appreciate that. All right, bro, you can continue. We're just going to head back and pull a bay new. Yeah. Uh, someone asking if we have any Lord of the Rings themed items. Uh, yes, we do. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to understand uh, the cost that one of our Lord of the Rings items is because it's about 5000 <laughs> We have two Lord of the Rings pens, though. Yeah, one's a little more affordable. Both on our website at atlasstationers.com. If we make it up front, make sure we pan over and... Yeah, we can could show it. it. All right, this one is the Benu Euphoria, the 2023 New Year's edition. These did so well. Um, we moved like hundreds of these, you guys, and you'll see why. It's a really cool pen and was a great way to ring in the new year. Yeah, and Tanya asking if doing these live videos has caused a ripple effect in orders. Yes. Uh, so a couple things about the live videos. Uh, the mystery boxes, the subscription boxes are all because of the live videos here. And we are starting to see certain brands really take off that are consistently pulled here, like the Ferris wheel press inks, the wearing gold inks, uh, some of the narwhal pens when they get launched, uh, you probably see them get pulled pretty consistently here. Well, that's what I'm saying is because when we pull something, the live viewers or the people watching the YouTube, they'll see it and they'll be enticed to buy it. And so then they put their order request in to be pulled on live. So then it just it's a chain reaction of or a ripple effect of the same items being pulled. But that's why we do it. You guys get a way closer look at what the community is purchasing and the products up close. So um, Amy, you are all set. 
Really appreciate the love here. Your Bay New is beautiful. And we got your gift and your card right down here. Yeah, and Tanya, Stay going smooth. on that, so that uh, getting the file fax was a complete accident. But uh, she really, file fax is going to be big. She's getting the mini. Mm -hmm. uh, we should be getting the newer edition or the 2020 four edition refills for file effects planners pretty soon. All right, I'm gonna have, uh, we're gonna do Sherry Y, order number 119347. I'm gonna have a team member pull a couple behind the scenes just because they're larger orders and uh, we'll review them. So, hey Jasmine, can you hold these two um, and just leave them set aside and we'll talk about them in the live video. Awesome, thank you. Um, Brian, let's go over here though. We'll show the Lord of the Rings pens. And then, uh, yeah, any keys, yeah. Thank you. Mayora. Mayora. So I don't know if we have the lesser expensive one out, but here is the Lord of the Rings Doom. This thing's pretty crazy. It's got Schmeagol or Gollum on the pen, all of the weapons from the main cast members. The Eye of Sauron up top. Frodo's sword. I think that's Frodo's sword. Frodo's blade. And the ring also does pop off. Limited to, what does it say, 137? 137, yep. Yeah, Monte Grappi all down below. And then the weapons and the armor is essentially like filigree that is layered on top of it. This pen is pretty crazy. About 5,000, I'd suggest. It's a really cool pen. Um, while I'm here, I also wanted to show another pen. Yeah, I got some comments on there. That's an insane pen uh, from Rosalie. Oh, it comes with a precious. Yes, it does have the ring on there. So kind of circling to another big franchise, movie franchise. Um, this is a collaboration almost, or... There's a licensing agreement between Monte Grappa and Warner Bros. to do this Harry Potter pen. So this is the nine and three quarters platform. A lot of beautiful work, uh, imprinting work on the gold-plated cap. For those of you who aren't familiar with Harry Potter, uh, the nine and three quarters platform is the brick wall they have to run through to get to their train station to visit the Wizarding World of Hogwarts. Pretty sick, though. So yeah, if you're fans of kind of um, more of the themed items. Monte Grappa does a fantastic job showcasing their ability to put so much detail into these themed ones. Uh, other honorable mentions, Batman, the James Bond 007. Um, in the past, they've done Game of Thrones. It's pretty cool. Okay, uh, let's show Sherry's order real quick, though. We came over here because we're going to do a Caveco and then also a couple notebooks and an ink. Uh, we're looking for the Sage Caveco with a broad nib. It should be over here. Why don't you pan around and show all the Kaweco colors while I go ahead and dive down here in an attempt to find the one we need. Yeah, Kaweco is offering a ton of different color options in their sport model. You can do a plastic finish, which is the classic. You can do aluminum finish, bronze, brass. It's pretty crazy nowadays. All right, where is the sage in a broad? Here we go. This is the one. Beautiful muted color. Um, purchase separately. You can also do a clip and a little plunger converter if you want to use bottled ink. Otherwise, you got to use standard international short cartridges such as um, those from Diamine, Faber-Castell, Jacques Urban. Let's get the proper packaging. Each Kaweco will also come with a cool little sticker as well as a little pamphlet discussing the product. And uh, Tanya asking if the converters are back in stock. And they are back? They are. I'm pretty I know sure we have them on order. They go up pretty quickly. Yeah, let me just double check. This is the broad. Yes, it is. Yeah, the converters always sell out fast because you pretty much have to use one or they got two different converters. Uh, but you have to use like their own because they're super small because regular size converters won't fit in this pocket size pen. 
Okay, let's grab the two life notebooks and the Atlas Iron Ore. And now Sherry left a note on here. If possible, I would love to have my order pulled on TikTok. So there's the Iron Ore. The uh, life notebooks would just be one second, you guys. Um, let's head over here, though. You know, I've been trying to think of what the prompt should be for that what giveaway here. If we get to 30,000, we're up to 19,000 likes right now. And uh, do you still have that picture that Izzy gave you yesterday? I don't. It's at home. That okay. was golden, though. So I'm thinking we can do a co little competition. What's the competition? It's going to be, did Brendan draw this or did a three-year-old draw this? <laughs> can you also do and we'll this let everyone picture? decide and see. Uh, Thank you. Which artwork they think is original to you and which is for, from a three-year-old. How, how are we going to post that, though? I, how will we post that? You know, we can, maybe we can post it to Instagram and put up uh, both and put I guess a we poll could do up that. there. Yeah, my uh, artistic skills might be beaten by a three-year-old. Okay, here are the two, the two life notebooks that Sherry ordered. All right, let's go get the gift. And then we'll pull one more live, and then um, we've got two orders that were pulled set aside that we can review. And Tori asking, uh, yes, Izzy has drawn something lately. She gave a very nice drawing to Brendan yesterday, which was very lifelike. Well, she didn't do it. <laughs> Sorry, I drew that one. I drew it. She drew one for, for Karina. But if you guys were to see Brian's drawing, <laughs> you'd be terrified. Yeah, she drew everyone a self-portrait except me. I don't know why she didn't draw me. Maybe she was intimidated by my horrible looks um sherry we got your card down here and we've got your gift as well all right we're running out of space but here we go so we got one more here that we're gonna pull live this is for maria r one one eight six or sorry one one eight nine six three there's a sub box on here so we're gonna leave that one out uh, that way we don't spoil it for anyone who still has their subscription box in transit to them um, first thing we're going to do is Diamine Ink Vent Vintage Copper. I'm pretty sure that's from the Red Series. Yes, yeah, and we had someone asking where the shop is located. So we have a retail store downtown Chicago. It's also where we ship all of our orders from. Tin Woodman from Waringo. And lastly, let's go get another Twisby. Happens to be the same one we pulled earlier, the Glow Purple. Excuse us. So we need the glow purple. Which is the exact same spot. Perfect. Uh, Maria, we're going to put your order aside because um, you got the sub box and I don't want to show it live. So we'll make sure that the sub box ships with this. Yeah, and Maria's here. So sorry that message was for a mystery box order. Um, yeah, I saw that. I kind of figured. Yeah, switch to the sub box. So just ignore it. I will not read it for you. You're going to get a really nice poem by Mama T on your card. And then your gift as well. And then, uh, yeah, so we'll get this set aside and we'll make sure we pull your sub box off camera. All right. Any questions at all? How are we doing? We're good. All right. So these are the last two orders we've got for the day. This one is for Simone S. Order number 119207. Simone seems to be getting started with a plotter system that we have here. Um, she got the Pueblo six ring Bible size organizer in beige. For those of you who don't know, plotter is fairly new to us. Um, beautiful, beautiful line, um, but they offer these organization systems. So you basically can customize what type of contents you'd like to put in here. So this one's the Bible size. They also have, I think, one larger size and one smaller. I think there one are larger, one larger, one smaller. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, uh, is it a five? I think a it's about five, a five Bible and mini. So yeah, we're doing the beige and then additionally, let me show you the inserts that go in here. Uh, but it's great for traveling for, um, I mean, even if you use it at your desk. Um, but what's really cool about these is again, the customization part, there's no right or wrong way to do it, as yeah. you can see here. And so for the people asking, this is plotter. 
It's a newer brand for us from Japan, but it's an organization system. So you get a six ring binder and then you can customize it with all these different refills and accessories to make it exactly how you want. Yeah, it's very personal um, and obviously tailored to what you like. So Simone, have fun with this. The good news is, let's say you have a setup and maybe you don't like it, you can try out different refills and you keep going until you have a system that works. Some people, they like to make their, um, their leather organizer specifically for their planner. Some people like to do a mix of planner and notes, um, but there's no right or wrong way to do it. Uh, but highly recommend you check out the brand because it is doing really well for us. So Simone, really appreciate the love. Let's get you your gift. Um, the reason why we had the plotter pulled off camera, by the way, is just because there's so many different refills and sizes. It probably would have taken me a good amount of time. Yeah, to Brendan find doesn't them trust himself to make sure he pulls the right products. Exactly, exactly. So Simone, peace. Yeah, and uh, before we get on that last order here, uh, we've got about nine thousand likes to go. So yeah, you're gonna need to walk pretty slowly, Brendan, to make sure that these guys get up there. This order is already pulled, so. Okay, so we have. You guys uh, just do your best. Just do your best. Do your best. Okay. And we have uh, someone asking, do we have a website? Uh, thanks, Squatch. Uh, but it's atlasstationers.com. Yep. Oh, we just had an Atlas Ghost. Uh oh. Atlas Ghost dropping some items off the shelf. There you go. I'll take my time picking this stuff up. We're approaching 22,000 now, so we're getting up there. Yeah, you guys going into overdrive. Easily. Okay, so this one is for Dolores A, order number 118939. Dolores is a big fan of our channel. I see her name pop up on these quite a bit. So Dolores, hope you are well. This is a pretty fun order because there's some items that you don't normally see, such as these stickers from Bell & Union that we offer. Some forever stamps. The USPS slug, the snail. Awesome. The forever stamp of some writing utensils and special delivery stickers really cool stuff um, and then also it looks like dolores is going to be purchasing an oblique holder from kakimori this one is so she can use her kakimori nib that will insert right in there and it becomes a dip pen this one is very nice great choice and then lastly we've got two inks one of them was actually Bliss, which we just pulled earlier, it's that beautiful turquoise. This one should not have any shimmer or sheen, so if you're looking for a nice turquoise, that one is a winner, as well as the new Sailor's Warning from Diamine as well. Awesome. All right. Yeah, let's get caught up. Uh, everyone's wanting to know what type of ghost do we have, friendly or spooky? Friendly, friendly. Except, and except the ghosts that make really weird noises. If I'm here after hours, sometimes it spooks the heck out of me. And it looks like we've got Wava here uh, chiming in about the plotter. I absolutely love, love my plotter mini. Yep. Great, great setup. A lot can be done. So um, let me read Dolores' note real quick. Please pull on TikTok. I am excited about my fine liners gift you put in the last order. I am eagerly awaiting the delivery. Thanks for all you do to support our fountain pen community. Dolores, we couldn't be doing it without people such as yourself showing your support right back at us. So we appreciate it. Um, all right. You know, to give them some more time, maybe let's, let's Have you go. shown the, the swatches for all the new inks that we got in? I did. Yeah. Okay. So we're up to date on that. Yeah. Let's, um, let's go over to the other side of the store, the East side. And let's see if there's maybe some products that we can review. We're not in this area of the shop as much just because the majority of the products you guys order for the live videos are like inks. Yeah, and so, Tori's asking if we could, could compare some swatches on three specific inks. Um, yes, we can definitely do that. Um, the swatch station is pretty full right now, so if we've got time, um, once it clears up, we'll be sure to do it. Um, one thing I wanted to highlight, uh, Speedball. It's a great brand if you're looking to start uh, calligraphy. What you're seeing here is uh, a mix of kits to get you started, oblique holders sold individually, as well as um, the nibs, which are sold individually. Speedball is one of the most known calligraphy brands in the world. We just picked them up a couple months ago and have been thrilled 
to have a nice calligraphy section available for y'all to try out. Originally, we were just doing a lot of fine writing and fountain pen work, but now we have the ability to offer calligraphy items, including uh, learning books, practice paper. Um, to piggyback off that, we even have glass dip pens, calligraphy ink, all available to help get you started. Yeah, and Tanya saying that to try to place an order, or once you place the order that we just pulled, there were some unique items on there, but you breeze through it. So maybe we can walk back there and show what she got again, showcasing yeah. some other products here that we yep. do but carry here in the store. The dip pens have been doing really well. We started posting a little bit about them more um, about a month or two ago, and they've really picked up. So they make for great gifts as well as great instruments to swatch your inks because you just want to dip the nib or the glass point into the ink swatch what you need then dip it in water to clear it out if you're using a fountain pen which we learned the hard way you know many moons ago we were swatching and writing with fountain pens we had to clean out the pen every single time we switched inks and it was not efficient at all so for those of you with a large ink inventory glass dip pens or anything that's dippable is the way to go um over here we got some great sketchbooks many of you probably didn't even realize ferris will press offers some artist books some sketchbooks with some sketchbooks with super thick um, stock. They're 160 grams per square meter. So that is really heavy paper. Uh, this will be great for any type of artistic work you want to do, including watercolors that should hold and retain watercolor pretty well. Um, a lot of other options out there, the watercolor might bleed through um, because it's too wet and not absorbent enough. Let's see. Over here, we've got a lot of great stationary items, mostly boxed cards. Uh, as well as letter sets, um, like letterpress sets. So this is going to be a mix of brands from Belgium, Japan, uh, France, basically all across the globe. Um, some of these are going to be themed towards fine writing, like this fountain pen card, which would be really fun to send to a colleague, maybe to enable them. Uh, what else do we got? Midori letterpress is beautiful. We've got Peter Popper Press the original crown mill bell and union there's just a lot of great stuff guys you know it's probably our fault that we don't show you this stuff more often but you would really get a kick out of browsing on our website or stopping in store our crane selection is pretty crazy an abnormally large amount of crane items in our shop crane is probably the most known especially for like non fountain pen users because this brand is so big on its own that you know when the holiday cards come out people will typically go with crane holiday cards and things like that thank you notes yeah and we're getting closer up to twenty six thousand likes so they're all right well let's keep making talking. a dent let's keep talking uh, let's go this way we'll show the plotter assortment do you know which three uh inks by the way yes which ones sailor's warning all right, I'm gonna pull them real quickly. Out of this uh, book. No fixed address and Dracula. I think we're out of no fixed address, by the way, you guys. Tanya really uh, putting in the spoilers for the sub box here. Why? Well, not good. All the inks work on paper. Oh. The sub box did come in a box. Nice. I thought you actually just named every color. <laughs> I was about to say. All right, if you want to zoom in on those. All right, and here you go, Tori. These are the three inks that you were asking to compare. Here, I got a better idea. Come over here in the light. Come behind the case. Okay, yeah, aim the camera at the store. We'll get them right under the track light. Just because we don't have a light box or anything out right now. There we go. It's a little bit better. Yeah, you're starting to see some of that shimmer on the... Dracula and uh, no fixed address. All right, we good on these guys? You guys literally only need 2.7 thousand more likes. 
You're getting each, close. Each of you can bust oh, 2. out. 2.6. Each of you can bust out like 250 likes in like a minute. Did you show those new Toyo boxes? Um, no, we have not. Did I put that pen back there? All right, cool. Uh, yeah, Since we can show the we're going over Toyo here boxes. anyway. Just yeah. kind of stalling for, for you guys to get this uh, giveaway. This so is one of my favorite sections. A lot of times we'll put new products here or kind of more premium items. Uh, this is our, our plotter selection. So you see the different sizes as well as the refills down below. After you go through the refills, if you want to archive them, there's even refill storage boxes that you can put them in and you can refer back to. Maybe, you know, you wanted to reflect on the year of 2022, you know, see where you were at mentally, physically, and that would be a great place to go check your archive. Kakimori notebooks. These are really nice kind of cloth bounded notebooks. They've done really well. Uh, but these right here, I'm actually surprised. Well, we haven't announced these yet. Once we announce them, I think these are gonna fly. Uh, these are the new Toyo Toolbox um, steel boxes that we brought in. Um, we're, we were looking for something even smaller than our small size. So people can put their cartridges, their nibs, their accessories in. And so this is what we came up with. It is a trunk box that is stackable. The one thing that's different is the opening is on the vertical side, the smaller side, rather than the horizontal side. But this right here would be good for even storing, like imagine if you have a bunch of Covecos or something. Um, I really think these are gonna do well. I was say, I hadn't seen these yet. I didn't even know we were getting them. Yeah, these uh, are sweet. But yeah, these are gonna be a winner. So and the price is fantastic, like $30. You really can't go wrong. Um, multiple different color options, whites, army green, blue, black. Uh, here is a size comparison. This is the larger box we offer. The medium boxes, I think, are somewhere else. But even these, these are like $38. I mean, it's crazy. It's such a good value. All manufactured in Japan. So go check them out. Toyo, T-O-Y-O, -O, toolboxes. Yes. All right, and then let's head to the back. We've got a couple. Oh, perfect. Wow, we got a big surprise. Oh, and as you're doing that, we're going to walk to the back here before we finish up. Uh, take you. a look at a couple of the orders that were pulled. Somebody was asking if we pulled their order yet, so we want to double check on that. Okay. And uh, Monty just handed Brendan something special, so let's get some guesses on what that might be. If you caught a glimpse, of she was handing it to him. I'll look for Tanya's order real quickly. It was Tanya, and then we wanted to see... If we did order one one nine two one zero, it'll be easier if that if there's a name involved if they're comfortable. So the name, name on the TikTok is notes from Amy, but uh, for that order, if you have the name on it, we can take a look. And uh, everyone guessed it pretty quickly, so they must have seen that box. But we do have the Banu here, so we're going to open that, see it in person. So everyone here is going to be the first to actually see it. Um, and we're looking for Amy M. Okay, well here's Tanya's real quickly. Yeah, yeah, we showed these off, I thought. She was just commenting that you uh, I was did going not too take quick. your time. I am so sorry. <laughs> yeah, the clips, the um, the diamine inks. This we spent a good amount of time with because we let you pick which color you wanted. If anything, Tanya, I think we spent the most time <laughs> on your order now that I'm really going back. But no, always happy to show it again. You got some great stuff here. Thanks for the love. All right, so we're looking for Amy. Yeah, Amy M. I think we did an Amy M. Tanya requires attention. <laughs> did Tanya say that or did somebody else say that? Tanya said that. Nice. Okay. Yes. Amy, you got the Bay New New Year's. So let me go ahead and pop it out real quick again. And uh, just to let you know, Brennan, the live group has hit 30,000. There you go. So we, Look at that. Nice work, awesome. everyone. We need to come up with what that prompt's going to be. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think it can be the artist one because we don't have the drawings. Maybe we'll, we'll do that one. We'll make sure we have that for Wednesday. Yeah, we'll do a separate video. Um, why don't we... Well, let's show the, the new and exciting pen. So that is right, folks. This is yeah, our very I've got exclusive. got it open here because oh. they weren't sure if they gave you the right one. 
Yeah. All right, well, um, well, beautiful packaging. See, we got our name on there, Atlas Stationers. So this is our first time seeing this in person as well. Um, we had a couple different models that we were going over and we settled on this finish in the Euphoria model. So let's see. Oh yeah. Holy cow. That's a winner. Whoa. That is a winner. So this is called the Benu Euphoria Gold Coast Atlas Exclusive. In fact, there is so much more color involved than what the photo suggests. Um, let's go ahead and zoom in on it so we can get a full view. Yeah, and to give everyone an idea what the idea behind this was, you know, we we're coming out with a summer release, so we're thinking something with the waters of Lake Michigan. And uh, one of the most popular beaches here in Chicago is Oak Street Beach, which is just outside the Gold Coast neighborhood. And so we've got the gold for the sand, we've got the turquoise and blues for the water. You can even make an argument that you got some clouds up here, um, the sky, or, you know, these might be the reflections off the building because at a lot of the beaches here in the northern area, you can actually see the skyline, a lot of skyscrapers. Um, on the north side, you can particularly see like the Hancock building, the, uh, the Drake Hotel. So it's just beautiful. This pen came out really well. And these are limited, uh, limited production. So the first batch has been moving quickly. Um, we'll determine if we are going to make more uh, and produce more. So what do we think? What is everyone saying? They're loving it. Loving yeah. the uh, seeing it in person, or at least on it's video beautiful. here. There's a lot more, much like, better representation than what the uh, the stock yeah, photo we there's have. There's substantially more color involved. Like if you really zoom in right here, there's like some hues of purple and pink. I know it looks a little brown, but it's just the way that the like the the acrylic is reflecting off the resin finish. It just gives you such a different perception of the colors involved the shimmer the sheen well not sheen i'm so used to talking about inks holy cow but like the shimmering the, the, the flakes in here does post as well i think we're selling these at what like 150 they're uh, 149 yeah and let me get caught up on a couple comments here. um you hold you keep it on the pen i want to see the comments too so we had a question from anna uh, do we keep one of every exclusive for our archive yes so we have at least one of everything that we've done over the past couple of years in our little atlas museum and let's read some of these comments uh beautiful love the concepts I, from tanya i had to nag to get this pen yes we were pushing uh we knew every day to make sure we got it out for you beautiful pen sincerely when i read the description and looked at the pen it made sense to me Glad that uh, our story translated here. Yeah, what else is cool too is like this is a, a lighter blue or actually like a darker, I guess, like not as green. Like there's just so many different colors happening. And again, our, the, the stock photo we had didn't really pick this up. So I'm going to photograph this right after the live. We'll update our listing, post it all over our social medias. And yeah, this is going to move fast. So if you want to be a part of the first allocation, we'd highly recommend that you Look to order it sooner rather than later. Yeah, just an announcement. It comes in three nip sizes, fine, medium, and broad. The fine and broads are here now. Mediums are coming a little bit later, hopefully end of June, early July. Uh, as soon as we get those, we'll ship them out. But we do have mediums open for pre-order as well. Mm -hmm. And from Anna, can you push Ferris wheel press for my stuff? And yes, uh, we sent out a couple requests over the weekend so hopefully we'll get an update there soon mm -hmm. uh from tori don't update your pictures i want it to still be in stock in a couple weeks that's one of the few requests that we cannot abide by yeah and from daniel is that pen for an order or just a showcase that was the showcase that the new exclusive just arrived while we were doing the live so we wanted to make sure we showed that off and uh, last uh, comment I saw, somebody asking for clarification on the Hollywood subscription box versus the mystery box. Um, yeah, I'll explain it in one second. We're going to give away this Cozy Up Diamine Ink Bent Ink. And the prompt for the video, and by the way, guys, I'm going to be posting last week's video today. 
This video will probably be posted tomorrow on YouTube, so look out for the replay. Two videos, back-to-back -back days. But the prompt for this giveaway is gonna be in theme with the new Bay New Pen we just launched. Let us know in the comments section of the replay on YouTube what your favorite beach is. What, what Out of all the beaches you visited, what is your favorite beach? Can we try to tie in some ink too? Maybe what ink color showcases what? that beach the best? Okay, so whether it's like a, beach a gold, and... a blue, uh, oh, pretty much that's all. I mean, sand and water. Sand, oh yeah, it could be a turquoise or yeah, something that's cool. that reminds you of your beach, your yeah, favorite yeah. beach. So let us know your favorite beach in the comments and maybe an ink color that represents that said beach. Um, and then winner will be chosen randomly and will win this cozy up diamond ink vent ink that just came out like last week. Yeah, and then let's uh, just give clarification on the two different boxes we have. So yep. mystery box is an item where you can pick either three or four inks that we will choose, basically not randomly, but we will choose for you. There is not a set ink that we choose from. Uh, we pull them, either Brendan pulls them live here or our team pulls uh, inks to create a, a personalized box for you. The subscription box, a Hollywood subscription box, is a monthly subscription box where you will get three inks every month. And uh, everybody each month will get the exact same three yes. inks. The value is always going to be in your favor substantially. Cases are looking nice and crisp. All right. What do you think? Yeah, I think I we're think that's good. pretty much going to do it. Yeah, I'm just trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. Yep, so when you talk about your favorite beaches, uh, make sure you check out the YouTube replay in a day or two. That's where we're going to put all of those comments in there to qualify for the giveaway. Mm -hmm. And I think we're up to date here. Awesome. You guys, that is going to do it. Thank you for the love. Yeah. We'll be back live Wednesday at 10 a.m. Central Time, same time. So make sure you tune in. Oh, actually, I've seen this come up a couple times. Sure. Sorry. Do you have any black paper inks? Uh, yeah, maybe maybe the calligraphy. Show off the uh, the, the French calligraphy ink. That'll be a good good one to show. Pretty solid, right? Yeah, this music's pretty cool. So here's some calligraphy inks. My one should be able to work on there. Yeah, these will all work. These are Aleace or Ales. I don't know how to pronounce it. It comes from Europe. Um, they actually are the ones who also do the oblique holders and the practice pads for calligraphy. So check it out. All right. All right. I think that's going to do it. Y'all know the drill. Stay smooth. Peace.